Hey, hello, you're stuck in trap with Wolf Gorla, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, part one of two parts, today and tomorrow, on Rogue One. What can we learn from Star Wars Rogue One? You know, a while ago, a few years now, a gentleman came on my podcast, Kelman Magoo. Kelman Magoo comes on the podcast and we're talking, and he proposed that uh, Star Wars A New Hope is really a parable about instant management. And he laid it all out, right? The the board level meeting, the risk rankings, how they went about uh, addressing it, how they communicated up and down the chain. Fantastic. It was an excellent conversation. We had eventually, many months later, got a, like a movie theater set up going for the local Michigan security community. We had come and come out, did popcorn, did the whole opening scroll, and he gave an entire presentation on it. It was off the charts. So if A New Hope is a parable about instant response, then Rogue One, it suits to follow, is a parable about a security breach. So I'm going to give you four tips today about things we can learn uh, from Rogue One. There will be spoilers, turn this off obviously if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, First off, first off, device management is absolute critical, right? Good asset management. Where's your equipment? What's up? What's operational? what's going on. We've seen in past Star Wars that uh, the Empire doesn't do this very well, right? Bring your own droid. They're all over the place. That's a problem. And that continued this time where droids were stolen, repurposed, and then went back into the, uh, the Empire and caused some issues. But more importantly, I think, is if you look at the stolen ship. So here you had an environment, a planet that was protected by a firewall, or I mean a planetary shield. And uh, to get in, you had to provide access codes, right? You had to, you had to authenticate yourself. Two-factor, right? Who you were, the ship, and what you knew, the access code. So they steal the ship. They fly it over there. Uh, they would give the access code. They're like, yeah, sure, go park, park over there in that landing pad. No problem. <laughs> if a device gets stolen, we have to know about it, right? If someone swipes... Uh, a laptop that's uh, got saved creds in a VPN configuration allows us to dial in to our environment, it's a bad thing. Uh, same thing with mobile devices and email and on and on and on. The ability to detect these things, remotely wipe them and revoke access, paramount. Detect quickly, revoke immediately. Empire failed at that. Second thing. All right, so now they're, now they're going through, um, they're getting access to the data. Um, this data, of course, has uh, the plants, the Death Star, and within these plans is hidden the uh, the back door to take down the system. Insider threat, even in a galaxy far, far away, a long, long time ago, was very, very difficult to handle. Still is today. There's not much you can do about a malicious insider. You can do things like uh, peer review, right? Paired programming, maybe. Uh, you can do things like uh, analysis of code and looking for common patterns. You can use user uh, behavior analytics. Uh, I'm assuming that in this particular case, none of those would have worked, but still something to consider when you're thinking about possible threats. So these plans are in this one location on this backup drive, and there's this big, you know, to do trying to get to the backup drive. I get all that. Now, when they get to them, why aren't they encrypted? Encrypt your backup tapes, right? It's very unlikely that someone's going to steal a car, drive into your facility, and steal your backup tapes, but I gotta tell you, I personally know someone who had a Iron Mountain van for a while for pen testing and would show up and take backup tapes. True story, awesome pen tester. Hit me up online and I'll I'll fill you in the details on that one. But these things happen. Um, Encrypt your backup tapes, there's no encryption. Nada, zip, zilch. They just went and grabbed the media and then plugged it in, right? Like a USB drive, not a good thing. Always encrypt your backups. Next, finally, the big finale, when they lower the firewall or shields, right? Um, And they send all the data out. Where's your data loss prevention? We know time and time again that typical perimeter controls will fail, uh, either because they're misconfigured or because the normal traffic in and out allows the sense of data to be sent over those normal channels. It's paramount that there's some sort of data loss prevention, some tool that scans the data going out, says, oh, Death Star plans, marked confidential, denied. Had that been in place, 
you won't have to have the new hope and you won't have to add the instant response. So there's a few takeaways for you guys. Good device management uh, and swift termination of access controls. Uh, insider threat, still a problem, no one has a good answer. Haven't for many, many years. Data encryption, always a must, particularly on your media, particularly on your backups. And finally, good data loss prevention. What I miss, what'd you see? Hit me up in comments or on social media. Have a good one.